It's Rhode Island Convention Center. We're here at Terracon. Yep. <laughs> Channeling your inner fan, what are some of your favorite horror films over the years that you haven't been a part of? Um, I really, my, probably my favorite one, well, is, is I say is uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre because uh, there was no reality TV back in the day. I saw it when it first came out in a kind of little cinema in London. And, uh, and it, I think it says, I'm right in saying it, it says right at the beginning, this is a true story or this is true. And, and then it was filmed so much like a documentary and it had never, that had never been done before, to my knowledge. And you just thought, is this real? And then as it went on, you thought, well, this can't be real, but is it real? And it was just so scary. Uh, another one I liked was Rosemary's Baby, because I think Mia Farrow is uh, just wonderful in it. And another one um, which you never hear about anymore called Race with the Devil, which uh, was probably because I'm quite a paranoid personality. Yeah. <laughs> it's about, have you heard of Race with the Devil? I have. It's I about seen it. <coughs> this, this um, group of people, I think, it's a long time since I've seen it, uh, who are being chased, and uh, the more they are chased in their van, the more they realize that everybody, it's similar to Rosemary's Baby in this way, and that everybody around them and everywhere they go is actually full of, of people that are actually in league with the devil and in league to get them. So like I say, that's, uh, I'm put, I kind of have that kind of paranoia myself. When it comes to the casting process of Hellraiser itself, can you just walk us through that briefly about you know, the whole process itself and what you found out as far as, you know, when you finally found out what you were doing and what you were going to look like in the whole shebang. Yeah, uh, well, I was a friend of Clive's, so um, I, I'd known him for a few years. We'd done theatres together in London and uh, with Doug uh, Pinhead. He was also part of the, the theatre company. Um, and Oliver Parker, who's quite a famous film director in his own right now, um, but we weren't making any money because Clive was spending all the money on special effects in the theatre company. So um, we disbanded and I rang him out of the blue a couple of years later to see what he was doing. And he just had a couple of screenplays made into movies, one of which was Warhead Rex. I can't remember what the other one was. He wasn't very happy with them, so he persuaded the uh, film company to make, let him direct the next one. And as I spoke to him on the phone, he said, oh, yeah, I'm about to make this movie. Do you want to be in it? And that was my casting process, <laughs> and I said yes. He said there might be a small amount of makeup involved. I went, no, that's absolutely fine. I'm happy to have a little bit of makeup. And then, um, so about a month later, I went down to Pinewood Studios to meet the guys from Image Animation, and they did a live cast. Uh, but I was still really had no idea what I was going to be doing. Um, and then about two months after that, I went down to have the first um, makeup test done, and that's when I realised. <laughs> What an unpleasant experience it was going to be. <laughs> and in closing, what's it like meeting your fans at events like these, comic cons, conventions, and actually being able to meet people who look up to you face to face? What's it like meeting my fans? Well, when I meet some, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, <laughs> I've been doing these for 30 years, still haven't met any. None at all. No, it's great, obviously. It's nice to meet people who appreciate um, what, It's kind of weird to be honest, 30 years on. Of, uh, uh, of meeting people and there's a whole new generation that keeps seems to keep discovering the films uh, the nice the great thing about Hellraiser is that it doesn't really age apart from some 1980s shoulder pads and, and big hair on a couple of the women it doesn't really age that much 